Okay, so we have an infinite series, and we're being asked to determine if it converges or diverges. So if you saw this problem and you noticed this negative one to the n, the first thing that you might try is the alternating series test. So let's go ahead and try that. So in the alternating series test, you first have to identify your a sub n. a sub n is your non-alternating part. So in this case, the non-alternating part is 8n minus 1 over 3n plus 1. Then the first step in the alternating series test is to take the limit as n goes to infinity. And this limit should always be 0. So let's see what happens. So when we do this, we get 8 thirds because the growth rates are the same. right? You have n to the 1 over n to the 1. And so the answer is the ratio of the leading coefficients. So 8 thirds, that's not equal to 0. So the alternating series test fails. So we cannot use the alternating series test in this problem. So whenever this happens, whenever this first condition fails, what you want to do, you want to use the nth term test. So now, that's a weird color. Let me go back to a different color. Use the nth term test. So this is extremely important. So whenever the alternating series test fails, whenever condition one fails, you want to go back and you want to use the nth term test to show divergence. In hindsight, we could have done this from the very beginning of the problem. So in the nth term test, your a sub n is the entire thing that I've just circled. Okay, this is this is your a sub n for the nth term test. So it's different. It's a different a sub n. In the alternating series test, the a sub n is just the non-alternating part. For every other test, pretty much, it's the whole thing. <laughs> so you take the limit of a sub n, which is the whole thing. So negative 1 to the n, 8n minus 1 over 3n plus 1. And we know that this limit here, without the negative 1 to the n, is 8 thirds. But this is bouncing back and forth. So this limit is d and e. In particular, it's not equal to 0, so it diverges by the nth term test. Remember, if this limit is not 0, it diverges by the nth term test. So it diverges by the, let's give it a name, let's call it the NTT, diverges by the nth term test, which is the NTT. So this would be a full solution to this problem. This little piece right here that I've just circled in red, that's all you really needed to do in order to do this problem. Um, but but that's not always what we do as humans, right? We we see this and we're just like, oh, alternating series test, go, which is fine, right? Every time you see this, if you try the alternating series test, that's not a terrible idea. Just know that if it if it fails, if the first condition fails, you have to go back and use the NTT. That's it.